Oh. <laughs> uh, I really didn't think that was gonna happen. This really is like a RuPaul moment. Uh. like a dream I had. <laughs> Am I dreaming? <laughs> oh. Okay. The first song you ever loved. Wannabe. Spice Girls. That's definitely the first song I loved, I think. Yeah. I wasn't really like that aware of pop music. I think I was seven years old. I didn't really know what I liked, but I just saw these five girls come out with such attitude and they were so captivating to me. The video, I remember the day the song came out, the next day, everyone at school was talking about it, like, have you seen the Spice Girls video? So it just blew my mind. Like, I didn't even know why. And I still love that song. It's quite weird just answering to yourself. I mean, I know this is the whole point of the thing, but it's, it's quite strange. You guys, okay. A song that reminds you of where you are from. And the songs slide away I don't look back in anger I heard you say I just remember being in Blackpool and this song coming out, Don't Look Back in Anger and Oasis just being the biggest band in the country and my brother really liked the song and Oasis and I was a bit like, I don't know, but they had some really good songs, man, like, they really did It wasn't like totally my thing, but those songs are amazing, so That reminds me of Blackpool I've lived sort of in East London or nearby for nearly 10 years now and I feel like I'm a proper Londoner and it's my home. I feel at home when I'm there, you know, the mixture of people, mixture of... It's just a big mixture of, of everything. I really like that and I like that, you know, you never get bored. You always can meet someone new. You can have like little bits of home in different places, I think. I definitely was put myself through it a bit when I was a teenager and that's pretty normal I think. I think I did it I did it too much and I I I had a lot of anxiety and just it knocked me back my confidence and just because I was putting I was being too kind of like blaming myself for things that weren't my fault. I'm so proud to be able to be here now and to like so proud to be able to look back on myself and go you know you got this like you're gonna make it like that's that is a really <laughs> that's a really great feeling and like I'm just grateful now, like happy to be doing it. So I'm like this, it's like a proud feeling, but it's mixed with just like gratitude, you know, like, oh, I'm so happy that I get to do this and the things that I've done, I'm so like grateful for it, you know? Ah, what if I start crying? Okay. Ooh, a song that reminds you of being in love. Uh, that's hard because Okay, so the song that comes to mind is, um... And everything went from wrong to right The stars came out, filled up the sky the music you were playing really blew my mind It was love at first sight Cause baby, when I hold you for the first time I knew we were meant to be as one, to be as one. Sorry. <laughs> Love at first sight, Kylie Minogue. Oh, when I hear that song, I just feel so happy. I feel like I'm ready to just have like a drink in my hand, be somewhere sunny and just like fall in love by the beach or by the pool and yeah. <laughs> I feel like you can love anything, whether it's like another person, yourself, like something in the world when everything within you and the thing that you're connecting with like flows and it's all like positive and good vibes and you feel connected to that thing or that person or yourself whatever it is that's love like 
the connection, you know? And when you feel like I've been seen by you or you've seen me in a way and we've shared something and it feels good or we feel like we've gone somewhere together, that's love. Like I have love for my friends in that way too, you know, like I love my friends in the way that I would love, a, like I've loved a boyfriend, you know, like I still feel like that's what love is, you know, you don't have to have it just for like one part of your life, like it can be for everywhere, every, everywhere around you. Oh, that was so hard to answer. A song that you wish you had written. Staring at the blank page before you open up the dirty window. Let the sun illuminate the words that you cannot find. Reaching for something in the distance. So close you can almost taste it. Release your inhibitions. Feel the rain on your skin. No one else can feel it for you. Only you can let it in. No one else. No one else can speak the words on your lips Turn yourself in words unspoken Live your life with arms wide open Today is where your book begins The rest is still unwritten Yeah Unwritten <laughs> Oh, that's Unwritten by Natasha Bedingfield <laughs> Well, I loved it I, Like, it was always a song that me and my friends would sing to each other because it has just, like, it's an amazing pre-chorus into a chorus. It just reminds me of being kind of like, I don't know, that age and just like hanging out with friends and listening to music. <laughs> I have a lot of kind of like people that I take inspiration from, you know, um, from like, you know, Elton John to the Pet Shop Boys to Rihanna <laughs> and, um, you know, Prince, just like, People that really are out there living as themselves, just fully who they are, not ashamed. I love that feeling of being like, wow, you've you've done something amazing. I'm inspired by you. So I like to yeah, have a lot of different kind of inspirations. This is like a Miss World contest. <sighs> okay, final episode. Oh God, what do you see when you look in the mirror? God, guys, this is, this is a lot. What do I see when I look in the mirror? I have taken uh, 30 years to actually look at myself in the mirror and go, I like you, you know what I mean? Like, I like you, Ollie. It actually took me a long time to do that, which is, you know, that was just my, my journey. And now I look in the mirror and I'm like, wow. Like, look at what you have done. <laughs> actually, like, you've achieved stuff that you never like thought that you would achieve. I absolutely can't believe you're gonna make me cry in this. Like, I, oh. but that is genuinely how I feel. <laughs> like, it's just real for me, you know what I mean? Like, that is a real thing when I look, when I think about that, like I am really, just like, I never thought I would get to this point and like actually like love myself, love what I see in the mirror, you know? But I have actually got there, so. <laughs> Even though it makes me really emotional to like talk about this stuff, but it's it's, it's just real, you know. And I'm I, I'm not ashamed of crying. Like it's um <laughs> I just didn't expect, but that's how it feels, you know. I think like especially as someone that like really felt ashamed of themselves for so long, like being gay and having like a lot of mental health problems that I was just ashamed of. I never to get to this place now and like you know be doing stuff like this and and be all like living my dream, like, it just, I never take that for granted. And I'm just, you know, I really ha <laughs> Oh, I can't believe it. Can't, is this, this is definitely... <laughs> um, but yeah, that's what I see when I look in the mirror now. <laughs> Someone a mess crying. <laughs>